As I stayed in Italy for some important family events, like my nonna turning 90 years old and my <laughs> little sister turning 18 years old, I thought it was time to get myself on the road again. Days in Italy that I spent with uh, with family. Now I get to to start traveling again, which feels awesome. Okay, that felt awesome. Yeah, in that moment. But I gotta say that it was also very threatening. The feeling of starting to travel by myself again. I was feeling really excited, as you can see now. But also the, there were emotions of being uncomfortable, not knowing what was going to come, what's in the future in front of me, and actually experiencing a, a type of traveling that I didn't know how to take anymore, you know. Obviously, I still had the intention of keep filming, making YouTube videos as it's happening, but uh, yeah, I didn't know exactly the direction to take. So as I'm going through the experience of Japan, it's uh, everything new, actually. Obviously, I'd love to, to give you all the details because I think that by sharing this with you, obviously I get vulnerable, but I don't care, to be honest. If I can bring value to you and whatever you see from my experience can help you, then I'm super happy about it. I find purpose in that. I see a lot of people that struggle in their lives, apart from obviously very challenging situations around the world, but some people that have had the benefit of growing up in a country that is quite stable, let's say Italy, still go through very challenging periods of life that with this social media era, it gets even more challenging because you see the life of other people that seems perfect, but in reality it's not, you know? And with Sense Lens, I want to bring all the reality, not only with Sense Lens, actually, even with my personal Instagram, I want to bring the reality of all sides, you know? In these days, I'm, I'm sharing the time that I'm spending in front of the computer because I'm, I'm grinding, I'm working a lot on, on many things. And maybe it's not a fancy way of sharing things and, on social media, but it's a reality so I, I care about that I kept embracing all the emotions that I was feeling and even some of the malinconic kind of thoughts and, and emotions I was like nice because uh, it's it's part of what has been my life you know and refusing to to feel something I think it's uh, it's silly especially as a man I truly believe that pain is one of the most useful feelings that we have as men. Long story short, my plan is to land in Osaka and go to Nara, but the plane is, is getting delayed, so jumping onto it again. Feels awesome, I gotta say. Weird that now I go to the gate for Japan. What? What the heck am I doing? Japan. The belt is here, but I have no suitcase. Now during the disembarkation, I was talking with the crew, so I think I'm gonna join them for, for dinner here in, here in Osaka. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> How crazy, I'm checking in, in into another hotel, like with the, with the Emirates crew now. <laughs> <laughs> Two years after, just like that. Going for, for dinner since there's uh, some locals as well, and there's a guy that is very, very into Japanese uh, culture. I'm gonna enjoy here. It's quite late for me to, to go to Nara now. That's a benefit of um, flexible cancellations. People are so polite here. This is a 
good start of my stay in Japan, I gotta say. See how long they last. So fresh! Oh my gosh! So finally, like this one is coming handy, and the temperature is perfect. My lord, the gang. Ta -da. Perfect. It's, it's telling me that 45% of the I'm so fascinated by everything. I think I'll stay. No way. Oh boy. Feeling alive. <laughs> Tokyo Drift is out. Japanese car bike. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I caught it on oh, camera. Nine, 90 minutes, I guess, or? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's so cool. I am under 20. Yeah, that's right. It's impossible because you have to be 21 to fly for Emirates. Spoil that one. Spoil that one. Everything. Skirt? What? Is this mine? Oh, kimchi. That's kimchi. Finally. That's kimchi. If you want, guys, take whatever. I want to try them. Cheers! Hey! That's news oh, as well. Yeah, it's going down. Oh, that's good. 5,000, that's amazing. Hi, how are you? How about this? Oh, 500. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was an easy one. Yeah, that's a funny place. Okay, thank you. Thank you. There were some funny activities here, some games, and uh, we got some drinks, especially. Soda. This game is fully used exclusively in Japan. The city export use or operation of this game outside of Japan may be a violation of international copyright trademark and or other related laws subjecting the violator to legal penalties. That's crazy! <laughs> Clearing cards. Excitement, you know, because I I have to figure out things like like I uh, was before easily in the layovers. Let me see if this is mine. Oh yeah, this is mine. Hopefully. Like on each corner, there's there's like something to film. It's beautiful, and no wonder they have uh, these doors. Give lunch in a fish market as a vegan. <laughs> as a vegan, I think it's uh, the perfect place for me.
Thank you. No, 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 it's fine. Bank? I didn't know 7-Eleven had a bank. Way. Sorry, can I ask you, does it have milk? Do not contain. Ooh, this is good. It's amazing. So this is strawberries and the gold kiwi. <laughs> That's a freaking whole kiwis in there. Yeah. Oh my lord. It's amazing. Then we found this cafe while we were waiting for the other guy that got lost. Super steaming hot towels. Mamma mia. Mm, wow. And then I tried these eye drops that one of the girls got. And. Uh, oh my god, this is so cold. Oh boy. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have tried it. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is pure panic now. <sighs> eye drops give you a cold feeling. I don't know what to do when it hits the, the eye. Okay, I'm gonna cut that part, but mamma mia. Like, how cute is this? It's milk. After the guy managed to find us back, we went to one of the most iconic places here in Osaka. As everyone is here and super busy taking this kind of picture, I kind of knew I had to take one as well. After a, a little cinematic look and a mid-afternoon snack ordered in a most Japanese way. How amazing is that? Like, that, that's insane. I forgot about that. Photograph. <laughs> We started walking around for some souvenirs from Osaka, but I knew I couldn't get anything because I don't have enough space in the bags. And then it was time. Now, going back to the hotel to take my bags and uh, say goodbye to the crew. Just like that, back here again, say goodbye to the, to the crew. It's been a pleasure spending 24 hours with you guys. And uh, yeah, off to Nara now. Now I'm alone for good, <laughs> by myself, yeah. And as I walk away from the hotel, I go to the metro station and I see all these beautiful colors. I start to experience a feeling of deep loneliness and with all my bags I realized that it's also because I'm not used to this. After a layover I used to come back to Dubai with all the crew and have my life there. But it's not like that anymore. I know that with all these there's a pure meaning of freedom which is what I've been looking for when jumping into the unknown and leaving the job in Emirates. As I look around and see all the people living their lives, I actually truly start to wonder what's in front of me right now. And I want to bring you with me for all the future videos after what has been just the beginning here in Osaka for this trip in Japan. I want to thank you for watching the video until the end and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay blessed.